Hello, welcome back to our channel, Ayaz Tech. Today, we are going to learn how to pass data from child to parent in Angular. This is a very important concept in Angular and widely used in real life applications. Before diving in, make sure you have a basic understanding of Angular and if not, then check out our Angular Fundamentals tutorial first. I already have set up a basic Angular project using Angular CLI. If you don't know how to do that, then check out our video on setting up angular project so this is my simple angular project that i generated with the help of angular cli currently i am using angular 16 i will show you my version as well so you can see i am currently using 16.0.5 now let's create two components parent component and child component we will use the angular cli to generate these component All right, now we have two components. We will put child component inside the parent component and then pass data from child to parent component. Let us first update our parents HTML file to include the child component. So open the parent component.html file and here I will have some basic, basic HTML. We also need to add the parent component somewhere to make it visible so i will be adding it in the app.component.html right if you reload your browser or if you check your result you will see that we have text coming from parent component and the text coming from the child component now in the app child component selector i will listen to an event event emitter or you can call it anything else so you can notice that we are using angular's output and event emitter here so receive message is a custom event that we will create in our child component and it will pass data to receive message function in the parent component now let's create our custom event event emitter in child component we will import output and event emitter from angular core and create the instance of event emitter make sure to import it like i said from angular core make sure that this name is exactly same when you are defining it here make sure to import event emitter as well like i did and here you can define the type whatever data of whatever data you will be sending from this event and now i will create a function pass data to parent and now this function will use this dot receive message dot emit and here i will have a text so as you can see that we have created a method called pass data to parent this method triggers our custom event receive message passing the string hello parent now let's create a button in child's component html file which will call pass data to parent function when clicked so let's do that so on click we will call the function that we just created pass data to parent now back to our parent component let's create the receive message method that will be triggered when the custom event is fired so now in this component first of all i will define a property message string is equal to empty by default and then we will define the function i will save the incoming message from the event in the message local property we will also console the message all right as you can see we have implemented the receive message method which accepts an argument of type string it sets the message property to the value received from the child component 
now let's test it i will click on the send message button and make sure to open the inspect element to see the data in the console that we just logged click on the send message and you can see that we can see a message received from child hello parent okay by the way we can also display this message property in the html as well as we have saved it in the properties we can simply print it here now if you click on that you will be able to see that message in the html as well like this and that's it we have successfully passed data from child component to parent component now when you click on the send message button in child component you will see the hello parent logged in your console and on the html so thank you for watching i hope you found this tutorial helpful please like share and subscribe for more angle tutorials don't forget to leave any questions or comments you might have down below until next time goodbye